Hello, folks. How we doing? Good to be here today. Hello, Brody. Thank you for stopping in. I forgot to mute that over there. That's okay. Um, we are here, and we are streaming Emerald. We are going to do some Battle Pike stuff. Actually, give me... Okay, we're back. Sorry, I had some junk in my room I needed to move. Um, okay, so we are here. Very excited about it. Um, we are going to do more Battle Pike today. Um, as a little recap, I guess a little recap of last episode, we heroically took down the Battle Factory and the Frontier Head there, the Factory Head Noland, which was awesome. Um, and now we are heading to try to get the symbol for the Battle Pike. Um, we have already won one round. Um, and here's another little recap of our team. Um, we have our friend Arrow, the Salamence. Um, and then we have Harry Jr., the Starmie, and Stevie, the Metagross. This is our squad um, for the duration of our Battle Frontier journey here. Um, and here we go. We've been in here before, which I'm very excited about. I'm sure we're still going to see some stuff that we didn't see last time. Um, we're going to stay with, uh, level 50. One thing, uh, one strategy I'm going to employ here is that I am going to have my team in the order it would be if we were to fight the Frontier Brain. So that way, I already know what my strats are going to be. I already have my team set uh, for what I want to do against her. All right. Uh, yes, we can save the game. That's fine. 74 hours. I mean, I know we've used a lot of speed up, but this has been a crazy long uh, run through here. All right. Here we go. Ugh. I love going through the through the curtain. It's such a cool vibe in here. Um, yes. So, distinct aroma of Pokemon. Um, once again, if she says that there's the distinct aroma of Pokemon around it, it is almost always the kind of like labyrinth uh, wild Pokemon thing like we are witnessing right here. And as you continue to go... I believe I said this last time, it gets a little bit harder to um, run away from some of these wild Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes. I know, you still I, you still can't scream in my ear. Maybe that's intentional by me. I'm just kidding. I just haven't done it. I've just been really busy. Um, let's see. Yeah, with school starting back up... Um, I have been, I've been kind of rushing to get to uh, stream time here during the week. Um, excuse me. But it's still been good. I've still been able to, you know, do everything that we need to do and cook dinner and uh, get done with all that. Um, but I love what we made for dinner tonight. It might have been whispering. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to go in the center. We'll see. Oh, and it's just a person... Toxic is a terrible thing, isn't it? You are right about that, my friend. Um, but yes, tonight my wife and I made one of our favorite meals. Um, we made this kind of Italian sausage pasta. Oh, hello! You're just you're just passing through as well. Um, it is one of our go-to's, um, and it was so freaking good. Path in the center, a trainer. I don't want that. Um, because again, okay, that's good. Every time they give you a hint, it could be one of a few things, so you can't like completely cheese what it's gonna be. And of course, they also only give you a hint for one of the three doors. Um, so you're not really, um, let's see. Hi, YouTube. Oh. Um, let's see. There we go. 
All right, let's see. I am finding it difficult. Path in the center. Yeah, I don't want a trainer. Not usually, if I can help it. Ah, uh, but now I got Toxic. Oh, Will-O-Wisp. I hate that as well. Um, I hope you burn Starmie. That would be the best one to burn. But let's see. You burned absolutely every member of my team. That's cool. Love to see that. Um... So that Salamence and Metagross are physical attackers, so that's going to cut our attack in half. So we hate that. I am gonna go here, because sometimes when you fight a trainer, you can get healed, um, or at least like uh, partially heal your Pokemon. However, I don't think I'm going to be that lucky this time. Which we hate to see. Also, the Shelder could have some uh, ice moves, which we would also really hate to see. Luckily, Stormy's got that Thunderbolt going on. Boom, baby. That'll take down a shelter every time. We are getting that burn damage. That compounds quite a bit. Oh my goodness, with the detect, he's playing me! My lord, okay. Yeah, right now, we would not be in good shape for the Frontier Brain. All right, with Starmie almost dead. Yeah, I don't get healed with that. All right. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Once again, I am sorry to say, we are not in good shape right now, gang. I'm pretty sure this attendant is telling us that the Frontier Brain is here. I thought we had another round. A terrifying event. Yes, a horrible one is about to befall you. I urge you to pay the utmost care and prepare for the worst. And that just means whew, we have to fight the Frontier Brain. The Pike Queen herself. Let's see. I welcome you. Since you have chosen this room, I will restore one Pokemon full health. Please be Starmie. Or, honestly, be Salamence or Metagross, because we can't be burned. Oh, boy. Well, here she comes, folks. Ah, oh, she's so cool. I am Lucy, I am the law here, for I am the Pike Queen. You already know it, but to advance, you must defeat me. I am not one for idle chatter. Hurry, come on. You are luck. I hope you didn't use it all up here. Here's that great music, but now I'm scared. Scared dancing. Uh, I know, Brody. We all know that Lucy's hot. We all know it. Um, okay, so it looks like they did heal Starmie, so that's interesting. Um, all right, I'm gonna try a strategy here with, um, Salamence. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, Salamence does have Dragon Dance, and Salamence also has Leftovers, so I'm hoping that can kind of mitigate our burn damage. Um, oh, that's not good. So now our attack is up three stages, but we could really hurt ourselves. Um, but I think I'm going to risk it, um, because... Having our attack up three stages could help mitigate that burn on the offensive side. We're really just trying to mitigate this burn here. Um, all right, that's still a one-shot, baby. Okay. We cannot heal. Um, we don't have any items in here. Um, you're kind of just... You kind of just have the hand you're dealt. Um, an arrow is up one in speed, so I'm going to outspeed here. Um, so I'm just gonna try to hit this Melodic as hard as I can with an Earthquake. It'll probably kill me with an Ice Beam or something, but we'll see if I can hit through. And I do! Okay! We're off to a good start. I will take that. Yes, this Ice Beam should clean my clock positively. Um, 
And that's okay. That's okay. Salamence, honestly, you just needed to take out the Viper. That is why I had you first. Um, and lucky for us, Harry is not burned anymore. Fully healed. That's actually really good. Okay, so you have a Leftovers, maybe, or a Shell Bell? Leftovers, okay. So I'm hoping we can knock out Melodic with this here Thunderbolt. That would be excellent. Okay, ooh, a critical hit. I don't know if that mattered or not. Um, but now we should be in some pretty good shape um, because her last Pokemon here is a Shuckle. Um, it's a very tricky Shuckle. It's going to try to use, like, Toxic and Protect and Sandstorm and all that. But Harry has Surf, and that's going to be really good. And we'll maybe kill it in one, shit, uh, one shot now. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, we're going to take this, guys. This is great. Um, we actually got some really, really good luck in this fight. Um because Salamence hit through both of those confusions and we were able to knock out her Viper and have her Melodic. Um, Pike Queen Lucy goes down. Yes, that's two. Okay. Also, excuse me. I thought it was only two times through to make the Pike Queen show up. This little guide that I'm looking at is lying to me. It's a big liar. Um, but anyway, we've defeated the Pike Queen. Ah, show me your Frontier Pass. The luck symbol was embossed on the Frontier Pass. Yes. That's all there is. Disappear already. Ugh. <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that was amazing. Um, we have snatched victory from the Pike Queen and cleared the event. In recognition of your amazing luck, we award you these battle points. The Ziggy luck is in play. I think Ziggy is on the team right now. Just, you know. Because we... Yeah, Ziggy's there. Ziggy luck is rolling, maybe. Um, okay. So. Now that we have bested the Battle Pike. Oops, not that. Now that we have bested the Battle Pike, let's take a look here at our symbols. We have the Knowledge Symbol from the Battle Factory, and we now have the Luck Symbol from the Battle Pike. Only five more to go. Um, ironically, I feel like some of the other uh, Frontier facilities um, are more luck-based. Um, but folks, we are moving and grooving on this right now. I did not think we would have two symbols so quick. We've only had like two episodes, or three episodes of actually challenges. Um, okay. So, uh, we needed luck to get to luck. What, what are you confessing, Brody? Ah, uh, yes, the battle point exchange. We're gonna have a look in here. Um, cause we have some battle points now. I think we have like three. 30. Um, yeah, we have these awesome Poké Dolls. Look at this. Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur. Iconic. Snorlax, of course. And Lapras, a personal fave of mine. Very cool. They cost a lot, though. Um, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to put one of these in our secret base. We'll have to decide which one. Um, at some point. So let's see here. What else do we have? Oh, we got some posters, some Smoochum stuff, Togepi, Meowth. Oh my gosh, I gotta get one of my Johto starters. We're definitely getting one of those. I want to get all of them. That's amazing. Okay. So let's see. I know one of these you can get items, and another you can get moves. Yes, here... You can get all of this stuff for only one battle point. Um, so if we didn't have all of our EVs maxed out, that would be really good. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, Brody. I did not mean to misgender Cloud. Um, okay, so I know there's another spot where we can learn some moves via um, battle points. Picking up another Leftovers would be great. I don't know if we have a Quick Claw... 
And then these are some of our crazy ones like focus band is really good, scope lens. Um, I think we have scope lens on somebody. It might be on Starmie. Starmie might have our King's Rock. I need to double check. Um, cause right now, I love leftovers on Arrow because I like to set up with Dragon Dance. Yes, King's Rock there, and a Shell Bell, okay. Um, I might get another item on Metagross like, like Scope Lens or something like that. Um, but I don't mind Shell Bell. Um, so now, the question is, what do we challenge? Um, I have one that I think I would be into. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. It's even. We're even, buddy. Um. Okay. Can they both do... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's probably gonna be the play, then. Alright, I know what we're gonna challenge first here. Let me... I am just ordering our squad for the next challenge. Not here. I don't want to go to the palace quite yet. Um, I do love the palace. Um, I want to go here. We're going to challenge the battle arena. Ooh. Some music, baby. Some music. I love it. All right. So, we're going to pop up here. And each battle facility functions differently. You're going to see how this one uh, functions. Where the battling spirit of trainers is put to the test, I welcome you to the battle arena. The set KO tournament. So, what happens in the battle arena is that you cannot switch out your Pokemon, and you only get three turns to KO your opponent. Um... And if you don't knock your opponent out in the set amount of time, judges will judge how you did. And then whoever loses, loses the battle. You'll see in a little bit, but it's very interesting how this works. And it's why I wanted to have my Pokemon in a very specific order to fight the Frontier Brain later. Um, yes, let's, let's do this. I love how they all jump up. <laughs> Thump! When, when you win, they all jump up. It's amazing. Um, so this first time through isn't going to be terribly challenging um, because, uh, as you can see, they're just going to have some, like, first form Pokemon. I know! It's going to be great! Ah, yes, as you can see, Harry Jr. versus Tentacool. And we might not see it for a while. We might not even see it this first time through. But if we don't knock out our opponents in three turns, um, we will be judged. And sometimes in these earlier rounds, um, they might really try to use some, like, protect strategies or stuff like that. Um, and that usually just prolongs the inevitable. And yeah, two surfs will do it on a spoink. Another great thing about beginning with Harry Jr. is that we're probably going to have a favorable matchup against anything. Um, and, like, you know, Smoochum can win that turn with a fake out, but obviously we're just going to knock it out with a surf. <laughs> and there's, like, the whip noise when you win. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and another thing to note is you get fully healed after every battle in the battle arena uh, because again you cannot swap your Pokemon at all um, sometimes swapping your Pokemon can be punitive like it's not a good thing to do um, and I believe all of the battle facilities are in set mode like they're not going to ask you if you want to switch your Pokemon um, but this one is like super set mode that's why they call it the set KO tournament uh, yeah, Surf's great. Surf's up, dude. Goodbye, Togepi. Yeah, like, Togepi is literally a baby Pokemon. We use Ice Beam just for, the, just for the gigs. We have two super effective moves on that Talo. Ah! And that's why we got Ice Beam again. 
Yeah, Starmie is really, really, really good. Because usually, as I experience it in this, uh, you know, in this facility, the first round is going to be super cake. The second round is going to be like, you might have some problem spots. Um, but the third round can be kind of hard. Um, and a lot of it is, excuse me, a lot of it is you're just going to run into some bad luck or some like bad matchups or like let's say Starmie is able to KO the first Pokemon and then lose to the third Pokemon or lose to the second Pokemon rather and then the third Pokemon destroys Salamence and Metagross but Harry would have been a great counter too bad Harry's already dead so sometimes things can get kind of hairy there um <laughs> get hairy there. How about that? Um, but yeah, right now we're, we're, we're sweeping. Like, this is a Diglett. A Surf to a Diglett is just like absolute annihilation. That's knife to butter right there. Um, so we're really just getting this one. Traditionally, you know, each time in the Battle Frontier, um, each round is going to be seven trainers. Um, or you know, uh, seven things. Like, we, I think you go through seven rooms in the, whatchamacallit, the Battle Pike. And yeah, this first round, Starmie's gonna pretty much one-shot everything. Like, Poliwhirl is probably the strongest Pokemon we've seen. Um, and Krabby's special defense is truly terrible. Which always makes me sad when I try to use one in a game because Kingler is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I love Kingler. It's just not that good. It just isn't, which makes me sad. Um, I would have loved to use one in the yellow playthrough, but we used Gyarados instead. But that was kind of fun. I never use the Gyarados when I play through Pokemon Yellow because you can get that Magikarp early on. Oh, this is interesting. So, what we have here is a Shedinja. And, wow. Okay. Okay. Starmie cannot hit this Pokemon. So we're going to have a rough time. As you can see, Shedinja avoided damage with Wonder Guard. So now we're just going to kind of wait to die. Um, as you're going to find out... Uh, Shedinja can only be hit by moves that are super effective against it. Starmie does not have any of those moves. I don't know if Metagross has any of those moves, and I have Metagross second. Um, so we are going to lose our first two Pokemon here, which is insane. I did not think a trainer this early on... Never mind, we have Shadow Ball. We're good. We're good. Um, another thing about Shedinja, it literally has one hit point. One. If it gets hit at all, it automatically dies. That's its whole gimmick. It's really hard to hit, but if you hit it at all, instant death. It's a really interesting Pokemon. And once again, insane that a trainer this early had one. Um, let's see, what can I do against little old Diglett here? Uh, probably just Shadow Ball. Yeah, this will hurt on Metagross. Metagross isn't too fast, but that's okay. Ah, there we go. Got that Shell Bell damage. What a, oh, no. Yeah, we're fine. I will take that all day long. That was a very interesting battle. <laughs> Once again, did not see that coming. Because I'm going to tell you all right now, the frontier brain of this facility has a Shedinja. That is why I did not expect to see this at all. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I'm dumbfounded, man. Oh, Fisherman Trenton! Huh. 
I just noticed that. He also has a Krabby. Oh, He's like me. And he's also going to discover that Krabby just isn't very good. Although I do love it. The reason I love Kingler, and I know a lot of you who are my age will, will think this, uh, the reason I love Kingler is that episode of the Pokemon anime where way earlier on in the story, Ash catches a Krabby and then he never uses it. But out of nowhere, he decides to use it when he gets to the Pokemon League. And his Krabby fights one battle, it wins one battle, and it immediately evolves into Kingler. Um, and it uses Hyper Beam. It's so cool. It's the coolest thing ever. Um, and there's another moment where Kingler is like crab hammering a cloister and it breaks. Oh, hey, thank you so much, Noodles. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Um, but, uh, yeah, Kingler, so great, so wonderful, so majestic. So this Kabuto is probably going to try to stall us out here with some protects. And if it's successful, well, this last Thunderbolt is probably going to kill it anyway. But if it does survive, it does not. Uh, we would have been judged for the first time. That might have been our last fight. That was, it was either that one or we have one more. Yes, just one more. Just one more. Doom. <laughs> She's gonna be a mother. <laughs> Congratulations. You look great. My goodness. You don't even look pregnant. Um, yes, you saw one of my YouTube shorts. Well, thank you for stopping in live. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been a really exciting one. I really recommend, if you haven't been here the whole time, I really recommend you watch the, the VOD afterwards because there was some great stuff that happened. Um, and now it looks like this guy's got a little bit of a better squad. Ooh, he survives. Okay, great, because Counter would have destroyed us. Yeah, you can kind of run into that, too. All right, let's see if this Hitmonchan can double protect. Uh, it can. All right, so here we are going to see our first Judge card, and we should definitely win, but let's see. So now, they judge on Mind, which we won with the circle, Skill, which we won with the circle, and body, which is usually the amount of hit points that you have at the end, we won easily. Six to nothing, that's an easy victory. You can also tie with a little blue triangle. There we go. Um, need a Pogatuber to watch while I learn Cobblemon. I don't know what that is. Can you enlighten me, Noodles? But also, thank you. I will gladly be that YouTuber. I have tons of playthroughs already. Um, I guess not tons of playthroughs, tons of videos. Um, alright, so a lot of people are just protecting here. Oh, a Pokemon mod in Minecraft. Very interesting. I've never played Minecraft before. I know it's very popular. Okay, so this Azumarill is going to go for the protect strategy as well. And sometimes I don't agree with the mind, skill, and body. Um, Cause sometimes they can like tie in skill or mind and I'm like, I feel like they weren't that great, but we still won that six to nothing as well. And as you can see, Azumarill just faints when it loses the, when, when it loses the judge's decision. Excuse me. We got a couple options here. I'll go with the stab option. Oh. Very nice. A pretty uh, uneventful first time through the uh, battle arena, other than that one thing. Um, oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, in recognition of your indef indefatigable spirit, please accept these battle points. Thanks, homie. Appreciate that, little karate man. Um... Let's see, so usually when I have new people in here that's watching me play Pokemon, no, I don't want to erase uh, Noland. Um, oh, I guess I could have recorded the other thing. Um, anyway, 
Uh, we're just gonna immediately start a new one because I am really excited to keep showing you this. Uh, so yeah, whenever we have someone new come in here while I'm playing Pokemon, I usually ask, what was your first Pokemon game, Noodles? All right. So we're gonna start with our same three. <laughs> Yours was Pokemon Platinum. That's a good first game. Pokemon Platinum is, I believe, one of the, one of the Holy Grail Pokemon games. It's one of the best, I think. Um, so that's really cool that was your first one. Um, I am an OG. My first was yellow. Um, I played blue also, but I really fell in love with it with silver. Silver and crystal. Those are really my... my games. Dude. So you're probably a little bit younger, I would guess. At least typically I would say you're a little bit younger than I am. 23, indeed. 31. Yeah. I've been around. I've been around, my man. Um, but that is amazing. We're probably going to play... We're going to play Platinum probably next. Um, once we finish our Battle Frontier playthrough, we'll probably get into Platinum. Um, so that'll be really awesome. Um, oh my goodness. Your nephew's first game was Let's Go Pikachu. That's ridiculous. Um, I mean, it's, I, I enjoy Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I just think they're, <laughs> sup, old man. Oh, thank you, Noodles. That's nice of you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, but man, man, Let's Go Pikachu as your first Pokemon game. Um, I know it's not a horribly popular opinion, but I actually really enjoyed the Let's Go games. Um, you know, I know they weren't for everybody, but I just found kind of like the aesthetic and the art style very pleasing. Um, I thought it was really nice. And it was different, you know. Um, yeah, I feel ancient as well, Mom. Thank you both for stopping in. Appreciate seeing, appreciate seeing you. I love the way they jump up. I just keep saying it. That also reminds me, uh... That reminds me of Samurai Jack, the Samurai Jack theme song. Watcha! Gotta get back, back to the past, Samurai Jack. I don't know if we have any Samurai Jack fans in the house. Um, Haha. -ha. But uh, Samurai Jack was a great show of my childhood. We just keep getting these great Thunderbolt Pokemon to face. Um... Oh, wow. So very surprised that that Mantine ate that. That was a four-time super effective move. That's crazy. Um, ooh, and the Swift Swim, too, is making the plays. Oh, you love that show. Great, Noodles, yes. Um, yeah, you would have been really young when it first aired. I don't even know. You would have... That's probably around the time you were born. You were born in 01. Um, yeah, that's about the time it was airing, kind of 01 to like 04, I think around there um but luckily it is raining so our surf is going to be bumped up um oh you're gonna watch that series in order that's sick oh that's so cool did you watch like the new season that they did several several years ago um because i loved that um and it kind of finished up the story because the show got like abruptly canceled um in its original run um, but that is awesome. All right, please still be raining. Great. So we should be good. Yeah, and, you know, eventually as you keep going in the arena, your first Pokemon's gonna go down at some point. Ziggy! That's right. Um, yes. Yes. Um, the last season is definitely, like, a little bit different because they made it way many years, um after the original series um, to kind of conclude it. Um, but man, can't recommend Samurai Jack enough. It is really great and really weird sometimes, um, but just really, really beautiful. It's a great show. Um, I also recommend 
um, Primal very highly. The creator of Samurai Jack created that show as well. Um, and that, it's a really, really, really good one. Very kind of intense, very violent show, but um, it's awesome. It's awesome. Da -da -do -do -do. Primal is so sick. Oh, yes, Tom Kenny as the robot. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny is a legend, man. That man, SpongeBob. Come on now. Um, ah, yes, you've seen Primal as well. Great show. I'm liking your I'm liking your show taste so far, Noodles. Um, um, it was so funny. I was just uh, I just put out a short about like an old Teen Titans episode. And I feel like that show is very, very underappreciated. Um, and that was another one of my favorite shows when I was young. Um, and you were very young, dudes. Um, there we go. Nice paralysis. Love to see it. Oh, mirror coat. That is going to kill Harry. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Every now and then you're going to see that. Um, you'll get caught in a mirror coat or a counter. That's just kind of the way it is. Um, but luckily, Stevie's still got some super effective moves on a Corsola with Brick Break. Ooh, I would love to show Brick Break breaking a light screen or a, or a reflect at some point. Because that's one of the cool, uh, things about Brick Break. It's like a really solid, good fighting type attack. Um but it also breaks through reflect or light screen. Um, and when there is a reflect or a light screen up, it has a really cool little animation that goes with it that I enjoy. It's little things, it's little things, kids. You know? Ooh, a Matang. Ah, yes, Harry doesn't have a great a great counter to a Matang. We'll just have to surf it and pray. We should be able to two-shot one. Okay. Yeah, we should be all right. We're gonna be slow now, but we should be fine. Do, do, do. All right, still faster than a Matang. That's really the main weakness of our Metagross. That's kind of why I wanted to uh, EV train it a little bit in HP. Oh! That freaking Pidgeot animation was so cool. Um, oh yes, lower our attack all you want. We're not even using it, homie. Not even using it. There we go. It is great to see a Pidgeot. Pidgeot's an all-time fave of mine. There we go. All right, what else we got? Radicate. Uh, this might knock us out. We'll see. Bird Jesus, you're right. For all the Twitch plays Pokemon friends out there. Um, if it's just gonna use another quick attack, we're gonna be a-okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Easy peasy. I lost at extreme speed. Um... Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Next up is your fifth opponent. Okay. Trainer Maxwell. All right, let's see. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I, uh, the thing that I'm looking at was wrong about when the Pike Queen would show up. Um, but according to this, um, the Frontier Brain of this facility should show up at the end of our fourth time through. Um, so I think once we go through this one, we'll probably have time to go one more time, and then we'll see if we can claim the symbol in our next episode. That's kind of my thought. 
Um, oh, what do I get out of the Battle Frontier? Um, literally, not much. Just fun. Um, you can, like, win battle points to buy cool items like we were showing a little bit earlier. Like, you can buy some, like, polka dolls and stuff for your secret base. Um, you can teach your Pokemon really cool moves. Um, but really, at the, uh, at the end of the day, it's just a really fun challenge that is optional once you beat the game. Um, and uh, that's really the whole deal with it. Because there are other games, like Platinum, for example, has a Battle Frontier. I don't plan on playing it. Um, I just really enjoy the Emerald Battle Frontier specifically, um, which is why I decided to do a little playthrough of it. But, uh, yeah, you don't really get, like, a literal reward other than, like, you know, the symbols and bragging rights and just general fun. Um, but yeah, I decided to go for it. Let's see. All right, we're still doing all right. We're still doing all right. Um, so we have two more battles. I feel like we have had a handful of battles that were just, like, a little tougher like that last one was very easy like we had a tie rogue in there like geo dude come on man that's easy peasy you can use protect all you want my brother that won't save you <laughs> there we go and metatite i would love to have our aerial ace here but that's okay we'll just use psychic all right one more and we'll be through this round um i think the, the first time that we defeated the arena here um we got one battle point for winning i think this time we might get two i don't remember it, do, it does kind of like increase the more you go So this is the final match. I'll try to uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah, Harry Jr. is Bird Jesus as well. I just saw that. Um, oh yeah, we fought a Vigoroth early on in our journey this time through. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Don't love that. But we hang on. Love to see it. Um... Yeah, Harry's not going to be our most tanky Pokemon. Harry is very fast and hits very hard, has a lot of good coverage, um, but he's not really built to take a lot of moves, take a lot of hits. Dang, another 1 HP. All right, this will knock out Harry, that's fine. This is going to be an easy cleanup for Metagross. Um... Uh, we'll just do Psychic ourselves. Perfecto. Easy peasy. And that is seven. We congratulate you for your splendid string of victories. Alright, still just one battle point for that time. Um, you shall not record it. Alright, so we are going to go one more time through tonight. Um... And we'll see if we get tripped up. Because this is where it's going to start to get a little tougher. Um, and you will see kind of in due time why I was so kind of particular about the squad I picked and how I trained them. Um, just because this can get really hard. These can get really hard. Like, I kind of made Lucy look a little bit easy when we fought her. Um... Excuse me, but uh, partly was because we had some really good luck, um, and it was partly that we, uh, you know, were super particular about we how we trained our mons. All right, 
Roselia. We can also use Ice Beam there as well, but I'm going to elect for the stab move. Oh, another, another grass poison type. Can this Ivysaur hold on? Cannot. Lovely. Alright. Ah, finally a plus hole. So this isn't great for Starmie, obviously, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Oh, got that King's Rock flinch. Love that. Love that. I haven't seen one yet. Um, I gotta keep that in mind for when we are in desperation mode. Um, watch out. I have a very physical job. Um, just a lot of walking around, kind of being up on my feet a lot. Um, so sometimes at the end of the day, after I have been at work and after I have worked out, I am just wiped out and my body is just kind of really sore. Um, last week was one of those weeks where I was just completely annihilated by the end of it. Um, this week I can feel myself getting a little bit stronger. Um, and you know, it's just kind of one of those things where you have to just continue and... Ooh, I can tell this Vigoroth was a little bit tankier the way that it was trained, but we got a critical hit there, which is lovely. I think the last Hitmonchan we fought survived on 1 HP from a Psychic. We'll see how this one does when I eventually get through its Detect. Alright, this one was a one-shot, so it was a little bit of a range. And Delcatty, I'd bet you anything it has Shadow Ball. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things um, with my job, but it's going all right. I hate to see that paralysis. That's annoying. All right. A bell chimed. All right, that's fine. Didn't bite us didn't bite us. Bye-bye, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Perfecto. Our third opponent. Let's do it. Um, Ricardo. Ah, oh, we have a, actually another black belt here. This setup because I ran this exact setup on a Latios one time um, for a Battle Frontier team where I got all the silver symbols. Um, and it was just so good. And, ooh, Absol's pretty tough, actually. Um, Absol, again, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Just look at that guy. Just so awesome. Ah, uh, Future Side, I'll take that, though. Um, but Latios with this set was so insanely deadly and good. And I kind of considered using Latios again, just to give us what I would consider like the strongest team we could possibly have. Um, but I hadn't used Starmie, and it fits like the same mold, you know? Um, this is actually a really bad matchup because um, Wigglytuff is much better in special defense than it is in regular defense. Or no, I'm thinking of Chansey actually. It's just very bulky in general. Ah, we're taking the future side attack, but it failed array. Oh, hello! Thanks for following, Odachi! Thank you! Appreciate you a lot. Um, but we might still be able to knock out this Wigglytuff in three. Um, oh, it's Noodles! <laughs> hello! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, thank you again. Um, but yeah, Chansey. That's actually what I was thinking of. Um, Chansey has a terrible physical defense, but an extremely, extremely high special defense. Um, I think Wigglytuff special defense is pretty decent too. It was a three shot for Starmie. Um, but yeah, Hitomi. Ah, McCargo. That is going to be the quickest one shot of all time with Surf. There you have it. Boom, baby. I love... I'll take this. I'll take this to the bank. 
Um, I love when you see your opponent just send out the perfect matchup for you. Uh, Pile of Swine, Ice type, but it's still going to be super effective against the Surf with that ground type as well. The triple one shot. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Sorry, Hitomi. Um, fifth opponent. Let's roll. Let's keep rolling. Selfie! Oh, that's fun. Reminds me of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. I know Selfie is from Final Fantasy, but she reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> pretty, it's a pretty safe bet. Anytime we see a Generation 2 Pokemon, it's one that I love. And spoiler alert, I love Knocked Owl. Um, any Generation 2 Pokemon is a big win in my book. Um, excuse me. I just love the vibes of those games. And I love the designs of their Pokemon. And it imprinted on me when I was, you know, eight years old. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, Persian. This might be able to knock out Starmie. We'll have to see. Ooh. I feel like it definitely will now, but we'll see. We are faster, which we love. Starmie's very quick. Very quick. All right. Um, we're fine, actually. Love to see it. Jumpluff. Oh, another Generation 2 Pokemon. Love to see. However, it is four times weak to ice, but it is faster. All right. Wow. I think that might be the first true outspeed we've seen against Starmie. We're not going to see too many Pokemon outspeed our Starmie. All right. So we have... Two more battles, I believe. Yes, indeedy. Evan. Every battle has a smell, I think is what he said. It's insane. Oh, who is the main character? Um, ah, that's a tough one, Brody. I might have to say Ziggy. I don't know about that random guy in the top left. He's kind of, he's, he's kind of suspect. Um, Ice Beam is great against Bayleaf, but I don't want to catch a strong grass attack. We'll see what happens here. Fraser Leaf, we should eat that, implying it's not a critical hit. And it was. Oh, it was not. Wow. Okay, that just did a lot of damage. Dang. Dang, man. That was a strong Razor, razor Leaf. Because that move has a high critical hit ratio. Um, so I thought that was for sure a critical hit. Dang, that did so much. All right, one Thunderbolt probably won't one-shot Celio here. No. But if it's just going to hail, we should be fine. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, <laughs> that'd be funny. It's just a picture of Ziggy instead of my own face. Um all right, lastly, yes, we got one more opponent for this round. Valeria. Perfect. I worked with someone named Valeria um, when I lived in Los Angeles. She was a young Mexican lady. I worked at a Mexican restaurant, actually. I don't know if I've said that before. Um, so I worked with a lot of nice, lovely Mexican people when I first moved to Los Angeles. Um, great, love that. Ah, okay. So Blissey is the evolved form of Chansey. And here is where we're gonna run into some issues. Like, you'll probably see that this Thunderbolt's not gonna do a ton. Yeah, not much at all. So I think this Blissey is really just going to try to stall us out with double teams, as you can see. Um, I'm going to see if I can freeze her. That would be nice. Because um, we're definitely not going to be able to knock it out in three turns. OK, 
Okay, so we missed. Um, okay, great. So that Blissey was really going to try to go for some kind of trolling strategies. Um, and we were able to win the mine, but we tied in skill because while Blissey wasn't winning, it did have like a clear strategy. It wanted to use double team, use Sing, really kind of try to outlast um, the opponent. But we were still able to triumph in the end. Um, lovely. Okay, that was cool. I actually liked that. Ooh, Armaldo! Uh, a really underrated Pokemon. One of the fossils of this generation. The Claw Fossil, actually. But I imagine we should still one-shot it. We'll see. There it is. There it is, baby. Armaldo is no match for Harry Jr. Harry Connick Jr. The winner is SCG! Haha. -ha. Okay. We congratulate you for your splendid string of wins over seven trainers. My dear challenger, in recognition of your indefatigable spirit, please accept these battle points. Um. <laughs> that's a good idea, Brody. Um. Let's see. We shall not. Okay. So. As I mentioned, uh, my job is uh, really wearing me out, so I gotta make sure I go to bed at a, at a proper time. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to call it here. Um, Noodles, thanks for being here today. Really, really appreciate you stopping in. It's been great having you. Brody, thanks for being here as always. Uh, Lock, Tess, and Mom, thank you. Um, so next time, we should be able to uh, give the... Frontier Brain a go, implying that we make it to them. Um, we'll see. We'll see if we do. Um, it's looking like I'm not going to be able to stream on Saturday once again, which I'm very sorry to do. I really like to stream on Saturdays, but, you know, sometimes those are just going to be the day where I have to get stuff done with my wife and things like that. Um... But there is an op there is maybe an opportunity to stream on Friday, so um, we will see about that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna make myself a note. Um, but anyway, thank you once again for being here tonight. Um, this has been super fun as always. I will never get tired of saying that I love sharing my joy with you all. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for being here. Peace out, kids.